I'm not sure how much more one-sided the first four and a half innings of a ball game could be. Texas was playing tremendous. We couldn't hardly get them out, and their pitcher was dominating us. And, uh, you know, it's just, I think, a testament to these kids learning lessons already. You know, that baseball games are nine innings in duration, and, you know, what happens in the first four or five innings doesn't matter. <laughs> And, and what you do at the end of the game does. So that, that was the number one biggest lesson I think we learned tonight, not to get our daubers down when things weren't going well and the kids just kept hanging in there and fighting and battling. And, uh, I, you know, we, I, thought, I thought Taylor Peterson gave us a big lift when he came out of the bullpen and gave us an inning in, in two-thirds, I believe. And then the rest of the guys out of the bullpen were tremendous. The big pitch Nick Bush made against Clemens was awesome. Uh, and then, of course, Austin Bain being able to, you know, rebound after letting three base runners on and finish it. But there were so many heroes in this game tonight. It's, it's really hard to identify, you know, each one. Uh, but but um, there, listen, it was, it was a wonderful win. Uh, we were just remarking it. It felt like a super regional atmosphere here tonight. You know, the electricity in the stadium and the dugout, the intensity that the players were playing with. Unfortunately, the intensity got a little bit too. Uh, high there with Bo, he, he lost control of himself. Um, you know, he, he was, you know, obviously he was baited, and, and yet at the same time, he's got to have a little bit more self control than that. So, uh, you know, he had a tremendous at bat. It was a, a, a very important at bat in the ball game, but, you know, I, I just can't condone, you know, him acting that way and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, what do you call it? Give him the signal. One finger still. I've seen this. So, you know, I mean, I've already talked to him. He's very remorseful about it. He feels like he let the team down, and he'll learn from it. He'll pay a penalty he did tonight, and tomorrow he'll be suspended for the game. And then, uh, you know. Is that you or is that you? That's a rule. Yeah, that's a NCAA rule that a player that gets ejected is suspended for one more game after that. So. You know, it's a shame that was a, you know, a, you know, the, you know, the other team's pitcher. But when he had struck Bo out the time before, you know, they had a, a verbal exchange here, and so Bo was pretty fired up to hit against him. And you know, he had a tremendous at bat, got a big hit up the middle. But you gotta, you gotta maintain your control, and he didn't. And uh, he'll learn from it. And do they we, know each other. They played travel Yeah, I know they did. Yeah. They, I think, I think, uh, I think they knew each other, and you know. They had some opinions, I'm sure, about each other from before, so kind of brewed over to today. You came out though and talked to the umpire for a while after they threw him out. I did. You know, I you know I, I think the umpire handled it marvelously. I thought he, he was tremendous. Initially, I was upset that he threw our player out of the game. I thought it, you know, maybe wasn't maybe that was a little too drastic action to take. I thought maybe at, earlier in the game when the kid struck him out and was popping off that maybe we could have got the coaches together and we could have, you know, calmed things down at that point. Um, but I think he was, he, uh, was Seth was very, uh, uh, um, that's the word I'm looking for, come on, Luke. Uh, he, he was his, no, he's within his right. You know, he, he, uh, he, he handled it the way he should have handled it. And, um, it was disappointing, and that, but that's what I was talking about. But I, I, after thinking about it for a little while, I think he did the right thing, and I told him that. And uh, you know, he, he warned both teams, and there was no room for further, further incidents. You don't, you don't want that sort of thing to happen, but it kind of looked like you guys were pretty fired up after. That. We were pretty fired up before that, Luke. To be honest with you, you know, we had a big rally going there. We had scored five runs, I think. I don't know. Did we score after that? No. That no. Yeah, I think that's something out of the third. I don't think we scored after that. So I, we were fired up anyway. I don't think that, that we need to put too much emphasis on anything like that. I think it was uh, it was something we all need to learn from to control our emotions a little bit more. And uh, Bo, Bo learned from it. He's a great competitor, and sometimes you just gotta. You know, those two Jordan boys, they. You know, they're ready to fight at the drop of a hat, so you got to sometimes you know, corral them a little bit. How pleased are you with the way this bullpen's kept you in some games? It's been phenomenal. You know, let me say this about Caleb, first of all. You know, you can't have it both ways. I mean, we've been emphasizing throwing the ball over the plate, and Caleb did. He threw the ball over the plate. He, he wasn't walking people, and he was getting the two strike counts. He just couldn't put anybody away. They, uh, I don't even know if he, I think he might have had one strikeout, but he must have had seven or eight batters with two strikes and he just could not get them to swing and miss at the end 
and you got to give a lot of credit to Texas. Their approach was really good, and they hit some balls hard, and and uh, you know, consequently we fell behind. But um, the bullpen came in and just did a tremendous job. Who came in after Taylor? Uh, Matthew Beck, Peterson, Peterson, Peter, uh, Peterson, and then Matthew Beck, and then and then Bush, and then uh, Bain, right? Mm -hmm. They all did tremendous things. I mean, they also had their moments where they could have done a little bit better. You know, those leadoff walks. You know, I just, you know, I wish Matthew Beck, he was pitching so well, you know, then he had that four-pitch leadoff walk there. And, uh, you know, that kind of soured the outing just a tad. But fortunately, Nick Bush came in and made just such a critical pitch there to to um, Clemens with the bases loaded. That was a pretty exciting moment. You planned just really put on a show in the outfield, and he had a Didn't he? triple, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't trade Antoine Duplantis for an entire team of anybody else's team. He's an uh, awesome player, one of my favorite players I've ever had. You know, Watson gets the, the tweak in the uh, in the um, oblique, and Twenty just goes out there and plays center field, center field like a major leaguer, and uh, gets the big triple. Did that one tie the game, or what did that one do? It was in the rally. It might have been. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Antoine's just a tremendous ball player, and he, he's. A veteran now, he's seen it all, he's been in every environment that you can possibly be in. That's one guy that you can count on. He was so mad at himself when he had that bases loaded situation, he swung at that low pitch and ground out the second. But uh, he did most of the time he's coming through for us.